With my current lifestyle as a mother of two young kids, I always am appreciating perennials that are very low maintenance. And I wanna mention one that I discovered several years ago that's still one of my favorites. And that is this plant here in front of me called Verbena bobonariensis, also known as Verbena on a stick. And you can see how it gets its name because it has these purple tubular clusters of flowers that are on these long pedicels or sticks in essence. You can see though what I really like about this is because of those tubular flowers it does attract a lot of pollinators so you'll find a lot of butterflies and moths and even an occasional hummingbird coming to this plant and it really elevates those nectar flowers right above your eyes and so it's almost like you can see those moths and butterflies right there without having to bend down and look too much. Now the other thing that it does in a landscape is it actually doubles your impact in your garden space. So you can see all of these flowers are well above the ground. While it does have a little bit of vegetation on it, most of the vegetation is really low. And so you can actually underplant this with other perennials. So you can see we've got it underplanted here with some Rubecchia. And the contrast between the purple and the yellow makes a really nice impact. But for the same square footage in your garden, you're getting twice the floral display here. Now the other thing about this plant is it is hardy to zone 7a. So for most of Oklahoma it is going to be hardy. Um, if you're north of that you can use it as an annual as it will continue to produce these flowers on these um, densely branched um, pedicels throughout the summertime. So you're going to get a lot of flowers all summer long. If you um, do grow it as a perennial, you should be aware it will reseed. However, I'm not promoting anything that is a, what I would say a garden thug. You don't have to worry about this taking over your garden anytime soon. What it does though is it will reseed on occasion and I often think it's really a nice surprise just seeing where it might pop up in the garden and it sort of allows that ebb and flow um, and the kind of natural effect and design of your garden to come about. So you can see right here we actually have one that just kind of popped up on the outside of the rock so it sort of softens that edge of our path but it's not going to be any problem that you can't easily control if you feel the need to. Now when we look at the leaves you'll see some of the vegetation it is up on these um, taller stems but like I said most of it is down lower the leaves are serrate and they're really rough and so that kind of allows it to be a little more drought tolerant. It's not like a soft tissue um, vegetation so that just kind of holds in some of that moisture a little bit well. These stems are going to hold up fine and our strong Oklahoma winds are really sturdy. It works well in either a perennial garden, a pollinator garden, or even a container. However, with these stems getting anywhere from four to five feet tall, that might be a little intimidating and overwhelming for some spaces. And for that, I have another solution for you. So here you can see we have another Verbena bonariensis and this actually was the 2022 All-America Selection, one of their winners for the ornamental category on the national level. And this particular hybrid has been named Vanity. And you can see what's so aesthetically pleasing about this hybrid is the fact that it's going to remain more compact, getting a height of only about two and a half feet tall. But yet it still offers all of the same great features of the traditional uh, Verbena on a stick as it lifts those flowers high above um, that canopy, kind of giving it that airy effect and allowing you to still layer it in the garden. So if you're looking for an easy, low maintenance perennial, try Verbena bonariensis or Verbena on a stick. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.